rapper Andre Johnson. He was part. He was part, part of the Wu Tang Clan affiliated rapper. He jumped off of a second story building this last Wednesday in an apparent attempted suicide attempt. But before he did that, he decided, okay, let's make this a little bit more personal. And he took and he chopped off his own penis. We, we were talking about this also in the meeting that if he had just decided, you know, to do this since he cut off his penis first, if he just decided, you know, just lay down and just wait a while, he would have died just from that. But instead, he it's like, okay, this wasn't enough. I need to jump off a two-story building on top of that. Now, they said that it's a possibility that there may have been drugs involved or there I, I don't remember they said that there was or wasn't. First, we weren't sure what happened to the penis because, you know, well, I'm not sure if anybody really wants to know, but <laughs> they said the the penis was transported to the hospital. No, no idea if it had been reattached or not. Okay, uh, there's an update here. It says the attempts to reattach his penis failed, and so I guess his rapping style is going to change if he survives. Crystal, your thoughts? Yeah, I hate to make light of this because even though they denied that he was on any quote strong drugs, mm. there there obviously is some type of drug involved here. Could he have gotten into something tainted, something that somebody put in there that was totally bad? Absolutely. Obviously, there. if not, there are some mental issues. So I really kind of hate to make too much light of this. Had he waited five minutes, ten max, he would have bled out anyway without yeah. having to smack on the pavement. Too. Yeah, and he only jumped from a second story, which is not going to usually, uh, unless you land on your head and break your neck, is usually not going to be a fatal jump. You know, it usually has to be, you know, like something like five stories or something like that. But but anyway, his penis, uh, yeah, reattachment was not viable anymore. Yeah, that's the the, uh, the update that I got. Also, um, I think it took a while for them to find it, and the tissue had pretty much already died so yeah uh this is a, this is a sad story I, I i hate if it's drugs that when he comes around he's got a, a lifetime now of of catheters and uh, not so much fun so yeah drugs are a, her a horrible thing i mean especially you know i don't know what was he was, what he was thinking it's like oh my god this snake is after me and he's gonna cut its head off i guess i don't know I don't know either, and, you know, I... At least now, there's no chance of him reproducing. I don't know if he has any children, but if he doesn't, then he he has won a Darwin Award on this. Unless he, you know, they suck it out of his sack, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Dave, your thoughts? Oh, boy. Um, Andre Johnson goes by the name Christbearer, and he, yeah, he, he used a steak knife and uh, chopped off his penis and then jumped out of the kitchen window. And it, the people who were around him claimed that he was not using drugs. Yeah, right. It seems it seems unclear as to whether or not he was. They're claiming that it's a psychiatric issue. And I'm going to say right off the bat here that either, whether or not he was on drugs, there's an underlying psychiatric issue there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, there are very few drugs, especially mild ones, if they're even saying that. I don't know of anything that would make you chop off your penis and jump out a window. Yeah, no, I I don't know of any either myself because I just I don't do drugs, so I I don't know. I couldn't I can't say I, for sure. I think that's I think that's that's clearly an underlying psychiatric issue, and, yeah. and the man definitely needs help. I mean, they had to attach a catheter right away. Uh, in order to to help him out on his way to the hospital, yep. uh, they were unsuccessful in reattaching the penis, which yep. is probably at this point the least of his concerns. Quite frankly, yes. Oh yeah, he's got he's got to have if he lives because he's he's still in critical condition. So if if he still li if he lives, he's going to have a lifetime of problems now, and he's going to wish that maybe he had jumped out of a higher window instead. Right. Well, I mean, he was he was from the rap group North Star, which is a group that was discovered by the Wu-Tang Clan. Mm. And Wu-Tang is currently disassociating themselves with him at uh, exponential, like as fast as they can. Yes. Uh, they, they do not want to be associated with him. Um, and even the p other people from North Star are, are trying to disassoci disassociate themselves with um, Maybe which, he had, you know, shame. I mean, it, the guy obviously needs some support and everyone around him is also a celebrity who wants to save their own hide, which is oh, yeah. 
a, a problem that I don't think a lot of people are considering. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, you know, all these people that uh, you make a great point there. All these people out there that, you know, they think that, well, I'm famous. All these people are my friends. But the minute you need tr you're in trouble, where the hell are they?